It's supposed to be a moment What good is being the one when you the only one that knows it What's good, little motherfuckers? How y'all motherfucking feeling, man? It's the GOAT God Swante. The first legend one at being a real nigga. Only the OGs will understand that right there. Now, since everybody's gonna be making a video about this shit today, I figured I'd make one. Since you guys are gonna ask my little two cents all in my fucking stream and spam it nonstop and blah, 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 nigga. But look. Here's my little intake about the shit. <laughs> the first, <laughs> the first no life of 2K17 has been created, my nigga. A legend one has been born. And you wanna know what this nigga got? A fucking ball. I have no problem with Orlando and Chicago. We cool, I'm actually a mod in this stream, nigga. So yeah, but anyways, and fuck Nate XE. While I'm here, while I'm here, let's talk about this for a second. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to make videos about this. No one cares. Nobody cares. But this nigga, Nate Exy, called people, black people niggers. Okay. It's on video. It's talked about porch monkeys. He's told people, black people, to go pick cotton. And no one cares. What the fuck? What is this? Bunch of uh, black YouTubers black streamers and I mean, i'm not I'm not just talking about one person there's literally over a dozen you know that are actually have some type of stature in this lame ass 2k community makes no sense to me i mean like have we really come this far to where niggas is that teased by clout i know the nigga gonna get like 300 400k by the end of the year but god damn the nigga is calling your fucking race niggas like no apology video or nothing like i i don't get it i don't know what's up with you online niggas weird guys that's not cool with me what the fuck like what the fuck it, it that boggles my fucking mind i used to be cool as shit with nade my nigga you know i could have been you know getting you know whatever but calling black people nigger doing all this lame little white boy shit what the fuck What's wrong with y'all? I don't get it. I don't get it. Maybe that's why Trump was elected. You know, bunch of closet racists, and now every black person is just Uncle Tom's now. I, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't know, man. But anyways, this nigga Orlando <laughs> got a fucking ball, my nigga. Not not new animations. Nothing. No, no, no. He got. Okay. Let's say it again for you. He got the same animations. That were in 2K motherfucking 15. The same color ball. When you hit Legend 3. He got those animations. That's it. And 500k VC. That's it, my nigga. Now, let's look at it from this perspective. Y'all saying, oh, he's getting clout and shit. Yeah, that's true. But that's not because of 2... Well, it's not like 2K is giving him clout, you know? So imagine you're just a normal guy and you go and get, what the fuck? What? I'm about to die, nigga. What the fuck is that? Imagine you just a normal guy and you go and get Legend 1. You're, you're not getting shit in the game. To be immortalized in 2K18, what the fuck is that? What, a statue? What, uh, a loading screen, nigga? It's going to show your player or some shit? That shit, whack, nigga. What? Y'all could have gave him some clothes, a fucking clothing line, like a bunch of exclusive shit. You know, just different shit. Like, I don't know. I mean, I don't know how you guys are <laughs> are still there. Like, you developers, this shit is pathetic. This is some 2K shit, my nigga. A fucking ball. That's it. And look, you know what's so funny about this? This shit boggles my mind, my nigga. I am, I am, this, this fucks with my head, dog. This nigga Orlando, because he was 1% away when he was streaming, right? He said, it takes five hours to go up 1% at that Legend 5 or Superstar 5 bar. What? He was 1% away and was streaming for like six, seven hours. What? what that's fucking crazy nigga 
I'm an all-star three, bro. Oh my God. Imagine how much he's had to play these past three months. Five hours, 1%. What? Nigga, what? Y'all, <laughs> I will never do that in my life. But look, man, it's, it's already out there. Let me give y'all some advice, first of all. If y'all ever, y'all want that clout, because everybody knows with the first legend, you know, I, I started putting it out there in fucking 2K15 and, le- and 2K16. Y'all want that clout. Y'all want 100K instantly? Get that first. But look, for you niggas, you, you fucking niggas, you dorks, you geeks, or you niggas just want to get that come up, you struggling, whatever. Look, my nigga, if you're not first or second, well, if you're not first on PS4 or first on Xbox, it's not worth it, okay? It's not worth it at all, bro. It's really not. All these other niggas coming through, trying to get that rep, it's not worth it, dog. I'm telling you, you're not getting any clout. It's not worth it, bro. Even with Orlando's calm, chill personality, he's still going to hit over 100K, okay? It took Dope Swag to like the end of the year to finally get his over the 100k he's a calmer individual too but uh yeah like he gonna get his over 100k my nigga trust me and um adix is gonna get like fucking 400k 300 i don't fucking know <clears throat> but I'm, I'm telling bro you guys gotta stop it is shit not worth it bro and for all you niggas that play this game so much try and be something on youtube or twitch you know that ass y'all play this shit all the time Turn on the stream. See if, if, you know, build something. A lot of you niggas, bro, y'all play this shit all the time. You nice as fuck. You're not building nothing. You're just wasting your time, your life, my nigga. At least at the same time, try and get paid doing something you love to do or doing a hobby, my nigga. You know, you don't have to go all in. Just do what you can, man. Throw some shit out there, bro. Start learning how to edit videos, make some shit, you know, look at shit, YouTube shit. You know, you can figure it out, bro. It's pretty easy once you figure it out, but that's all I gotta say. A ball, my nigga. <laughs> and Nick, y'all some rude ass niggas, y'all. <laughs> In his stream, y'all mean as fuck, bro. Come on, bro. Nigga just wasted his, well, not wasted, because he getting that, that clout. But hey, also. For all you top rep niggas, it's it's also documented. <laughs> if y'all don't know the the, the legend of the first, <laughs> oh no no wait wait what am I saying? If y'all don't know the curse of the first, it always repeats itself, my nigga. Remember that. Do you guys also remember Steezo predicting that people will be immortalized? The curse of the thirst. Let me break it down. You see, nobody is actually born a no life. In fact, it has been scientifically proven 100% impossible to be born with no life. So how did he do it? Two words. First legend. Red was and will only be known as forever as the first legend legend and the truth is we have been being lied to about the first legend since the beginning cuz see what everybody failed to realize is being the first legend is more than just the crown it's more than just tigers becoming the first legend doesn't just get you a shout out no the first legend actually becomes immortal Yes, immortal can't die. Oh, what, what, what? I'm lying. I'm lying. Motherfucker, have you ever even seen the movie Sandlot? 
The answer was right in front of us the whole time. Cuz said it himself. Heroes get remembered, but legends never die. First, legends can never die, cuz. I'm trying to tell you. Could y'all ever wonder why the first legend on 2K15 and the first legend on 2K16 are both Hispanic? Motherfucker, because Babe Ruth was talking to Benny the Jet Rodriguez. The Hispanics took that shit literal and ran with it. They've been known that legends never die for years now. Everything I'm telling you right now is the truth. Y'all need to wake the fuck up. See, this is the problem. These dudes go and become the first legend like, oh, I'm about to get mad subs. But don't realize you are now trapped in the curse of the first forever. He is a virus. You give up your own life to become immortal on a video game. I'm trying to tell you, it's not worth it, kids. The curse of the first is very real. And I have done literally everything. I could to run up on Red and destroy Red, to discourage him, to free him of the curse, to finally kill him and give him what he deep inside has always wished for, which is for him to finally die so that he can live again. And what LD and Ronnie are about to do is going to reverse everything I have worked so hard to accomplish. Now you see why they are fucking retarded. Mark my words, if the human virus Red City Boy steps one foot in the building of 2K and has human contact with the game before it is released, 2K17 is doomed as we know it. You 2K devs are so fucking stupid. Ronnie, I'm sick of this shit. I know you watch my videos. I need the fade now. And that's on Uchiha Clan. I've had enough. And to all y'all watching this, yo, Steezo, why was you so angry? Motherfucker, I'm not angry. I'm passionate. If nobody is willing to stand up to these evil motherfuckers, then... In 2K18 and 17? In 2K16? Don't y'all think that's crazy? I? But I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm out this bitch, bro. Y'all have a beautiful motherfucking day. Let me know how y'all feel about that fucking ball he received. Subscribe and like if you motherfucking knew. And, um, <laughs> a fucking ball, bro. That's crazy. No one's tweeting this nigga or nothing. I don't know, bro. Shit fucked up to me. <laughs> I'm out this bitch, though.